Hi, welcome to Monster Transmission. You're in Kurt's Corner. Today we're going to go over how to replace or check the governor on a 700R4. Again, it's a four-speed automatic, very common unit, uses a lot of conversions. Now the governor assembly is actually a, there's a cover on the side of the transmission on the driver's side. So I'm going to rotate this transmission around. In this round area here, this, this is the cover for the governor. Now some of the early models actually had a clip and extended over here and went on, okay? But then they, that's an obsolete part, they started to stop doing that in 1986. So some have this clip, some not, and that's just to prevent the cover from blowing off. So what you do to prevent that from happening, so we had a little bead of silicone on it, we put it on and that'll prevent that from happening. So the first thing we do is we want to remove this cover. Now you can remove this with the transmission still in the vehicle. It's a little bit more difficult because the cross member crosses under here, but if you get a screwdriver and get behind the lip of this cover, you can knock this cover off. So it just, it's just hammered onto the casting of the case. So again, safety first, we'll put our safety glasses on, and now we're going to remove this cover. You do not want to hammer it down in because you, you could rupture or puncture a hole in the cover. These are older units, and sometimes these covers get very rusty. We do offer these on our website. It's a seal, and this exposes the governor assembly. Now the governor teeth ride on the output shaft of the transmission. So as you pull it out, it'll, you notice it'll rotate. It'll rotate and expose the entire governor. This nylon gear rides on the output shaft. Now if you're driving it on the transmission stop shifting completely, it's a good chance that the nylon gear here broke and it cannot rotate and give the command that I have the transmission shift. It will not pass that oil on to give the command. So if your vehicle stops shifting suddenly, a good place to check is the governor. If it's shifting really late or stop shifting again, it also could be a valve. There's a valve inside this area here. When you activate these weights and you close them, you see the valve on the inside will move down. When you release, the spring tension inside the butterfly weights will expand and the, and the gear will go back up. The valve will actually slide back up in the governor assembly. Okay. Now to clean this, sometimes you use carb cleaner or solvent and you can wash it in here. Again, be careful not to get that in your eyes. Clean that out and if you tap it, several times on a hard surface, that sonic vibration will free up that valve. And you can check it again by squeezing the butterfly weights together. If the valve is moving, then it's operating correctly. And the transmission still doesn't shift and you have another issue inside the unit. If we determine the governor is good or we've cleaned it and now it's free and all the teeth are on the, on the governor itself, then you want to slide it back in to the port, and it doesn't matter which direction you go because it rotates. Slide that back in, and to verify that it, the gear is good again, if you rotate the output shaft, you'll see that the gear actually rotates because it rides on this output shaft. So now that the gear is completely installed, if it came with a seal, reinstall the seal. You put a bead of silicone, not too much, and ensure that it starts level, and you can tap. You don't want to hammer too hard in the center, and you'll collapse the housing in, and one it won't seal, plus it'll also be riding against the governor assembly. So you want to tap the perimeter of the, of the housing down. until it seals all the way around. So that's how you reinstall the governor assembly. Now if you have any further questions on shift performance or governors on, on this transmission or other transmissions, feel free to give us a call at Monster 1-800-708-0087. Talk to you then.